Have you noticed the seasons starting to change and all of the fall things are coming out? Pumpkins and skeletons and leaves. So know what we're gonna do today? We're going to make Mama Cat's world famous pumpkin bread. And there's gonna be a recipe in the description below. I got my favorite glass out, the envy of many. We're gonna get this going. I have made, I can't tell you how many loaves of pumpkin bread I've made in my life, but let's just say there's been a lot. Start off mixing together our pumpkin puree. One can, that's 15 ounces. We're going to do two and a half cups of sugar. Some people put three, I like two and a half. I don't like it overly sweet. And then one cup of vegetable or canola oil, th two thirds cup of water, and four large eggs. And we're gonna mix all that together. Then we're gonna do our flour mixture. Put in the sugar. So are you getting excited for the season? I am, can you tell? I've got my shirt on. I've got my house decorated. I love it, it's the best. Now I'm gonna put in my 100% pure pumpkin puree. Put that in there. This is an easy recipe. Once you make it, you're gonna wanna make it again when company comes or they make nice gifts too. You could get those little tins, and give it away for Christmas even or for Thanksgiving or just for whatever reason. All right, so now we'll put in our eggs. And we have four large eggs. Oh, know what I didn't do? Set the oven. Set your oven for 350. Two thirds cup of water. So one cup of vegetable or canola oil. Canola oil. You could use avocado oil. You can use butter if you want. When I make banana bread, which I'll make on the show sometime, I always use butter, but for the pumpkin bread, I use oil. It just works really well. And now we're ready to blend all of this. Believe it or not, I've used hand mixers all my life, so this is a new contraption to me. So we'll turn it on and hope it doesn't go all over the place. That's eh, good, doing good. And then while that's blending, we can mix our dry mixture. You do it separately is to make sure it's all blended well because you've got your baking powder and your spices and you want it nice and blended before you put it in here. So here's the flour, two and a half cups. Woo! Our baking soda, two teaspoons. That's looking pretty good. I'll turn it up a little bit. Let's see what it does. Hold on, people. Hold on, people. Now, do our salt. One and a half teaspoon salt. One, and I am not getting out my half thingy, and I am just going to eyeball it, and that works. We'll do our one teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of nutmeg. You could, if you don't have nutmeg or you don't have cinnamon, you could use pumpkin pie spice. You could do that too, or a mixture of either one, as long as you get them both in there. I put a little extra, and I'm gonna do one and a half of the cinnamon, because it's just better when you really taste the cinnamon spices. It's not gonna be too much. And then here's the ground nutmeg, and you'll put a good, size amount of a nice fat teaspoon in there. That's it. We're gonna incorporate this into here. Now we're gonna wanna spray our pans. We've got two pans. Nice thing about this recipe, it makes you two nice pans. So you have plenty to share. Just get your little baking tins and you spray them pretty nicely with your uh, nonstick canola oil that I like, or you could use the avocado if you like, or whatever nonstick baking spray. Now, you whisk together this dry mixture, and you could come in here mochi and see it if you want. And it smells good. I smell all the spices, all those fall things that we love. All right, now, start getting this in there. I'll just do a little at a time. So here's a little in there and mix it up. That's it, no arm work. It's doing all the work for Mama Cat. All right, now let's put a little more in there. Eh, I probably am gonna just end up doing three batches of this together. We don't want it going all over the place, like I think I've done a few times. 
Now I'll put the rest in there, put it back in, let's blend it up a little more. So I know a lot of times people will buy it at the, at the grocery store. You're gonna like it when you make it at home. It doesn't take that long. I take it on road trips. My grandsons love it. So they always want Mama Cat's pumpkin bread and I make it year round for them. They love it. Turned it up, now we're going for it. Now that it's blended up, you get to turn on the power. Let's turn on full port. Yes! Go, go, go! All right, this mother trucker is beat as good as it's gonna get. Now that's all nice and lovely. Now we'll pour it even, nice and evenly and remain calm now. You're gonna love Mama Cat's world famous pumpkin bread. All right, so now I just filled my tins. It's perfect, it's nice and even. And now it's ready to go into my oven. So again, a 350 oven. It's gonna start smelling really good in this house. It's a nice thing to, to do before you have people over and then it just starts to smell so good in your house and they go, your house smells so good. And you say, well, of course, it's Mama Cat's house and I'm baking, what do you think? Okay, so now that's done, set the timer. It can be anywhere between 55 minutes and 70 minutes. Depending again, the time of year where you live, you're gonna wanna check it in 55 to be sure because at 55, you might want to cover the tops of your loaves with a little bit of foil, a little bit of foil, depending where you're from. You just put a little sheet on top because the brown, it'll get brown on top and you don't want it to get too brown and then it'll still continue to cook inside without getting too brown on top. Timer went off in 55 minutes, let's check it. Okay, I took a peek a little bit before and I did put the foil on because I didn't want the uh, tops to get too brown. So now I'm going to check it. Came out pretty clean. Let's check this one. Yeah. Mm. I am going to set the timer for three more minutes and um, check it again because it's got to be perfect. You don't want it dry, but you don't want it uncooked. So if the timer went off. It should be done. If Mama Cat knows what she's doing, it should be done. Oh yeah, I do. All right, so it's done. I'm gonna turn off my oven. No need to keep the house heating up. Pretend, when I'm pretending it's cool outside and it's 100 degrees in Arizona. <laughs> okay, so now they've cooled off somewhat, but to let you see how good this is, and I can't wait, Cutting a little piece. Look at that. Beautiful pumpkin bread, perfectly cooked. You saw it wasn't a lot of work. Let's get a little taste of this. Perfect. Follow the instructions that I put for you. You won't go wrong. You're gonna wanna make this all the time. Try all the variations, it's all good. Oh, and this is another tip. The little foils that you put on to guard the top, you can also, once they cool, use that to put on it, to guard it, until you're ready to take them out and cut them up and share with everyone. Another thing is too, I did wanna say, you could put in the batter is raisins, any kind of nuts, walnuts or pecans. You could also put chocolate chips. You could put white chocolate chips. I've had them all, I've done them all. They're all really good. This tonight, today I just went with your basic pumpkin bread. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.